Psychic powers. Can we really speak to the dead? Can your future be read off your palm or a formation of cards? The truth is we may never find out, but there are people out there who use closely guarded and powerful techniques in order to genuinely appear psychic. The question is, can you learn these techniques to help you in the real world? Can you learn these techniques to help you in the real world? SA's very own mentalist, Gilan Gork in studio. Dude, nice to have you, man. Great to be here. Thanks for yeah, having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is very interesting. I mean, I love touching on, on the power of the mind and what is possible and what you can actually do with it. And this is what you're able to teach people with your new seminar called Persuasion Games. That's right. That's yeah. right. I've been using uh, techniques of influence and persuasion in my shows. It started off as entertainment. Uh, teach it, you know, showing people the power of the mind and how to influence and persuade. And people said, well, if you can do this for entertainment, uh, can you teach it to us in a business context so that we can use it from sales to negotiations or leadership? And that's what I've done. That's why I wrote this book, which, uh, which kind of divulges some of the secrets and, uh, oh, nice. and teaches people how to become more influential and persuasive. I love that. So we can basically be like, Never ever forget to tune in to SABC3. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so, so how does this work exactly? I mean, uh, how do you go about teaching people the techniques? Well, you know, the way that I do it, obviously with my experience as a mentalist, is uh, I, I actually teach how people who seem, who pretend to be psychic, uh, do what they do and, and the different mechanisms of persuasion that we can learn from that. So I'll give you a, a quick example okay. uh, of, of something that we'll do with persuasion. So, um, oh, I love Ewan, I want you to, <laughs> I want you to um, uh, just look into my eyes and don't let me feel like I'm influencing you, but okay. uh, I'm going to try, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right. um, I'm just going to count from one to ten, okay? okay. Um, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right now, I want you to think of any two digits in your mind. While you do that, I'm going to write a little note here for you. Any two digits. Any two digits can change your mind as many times as you like. Hmm. As long as you don't say it out loud. As long as you have it in your mind. Maybe somebody says, "Think of two digits." I mean, it's really hard, actually. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're trying to make it not obvious, right? right. Exactly. Okay. Go I've, I've written a little note down here for you. What I want to influence you to say. Um, but go ahead and commit to us, you can't change your mind. What is the two digit number that you think you have? Uh, the two digit number I'm thinking is 82. 82, and that was your choice. Yes. I mean, no one came to you before and they said, no. you have got to choose 82 no. or anything like that. And I happen to write over here, you and Will say 82. Shut the front door. No. This is, <laughs> How? Now, it's not like I read your mind, you know? Did, did I know <laughs> you would say that or did I influence you to eyes, say that? Dude, that's why. That's, that's interesting, crazy. dude, that's very cool. Yeah. So, 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 so these are the types of, you know, techniques that there's a lot to do with the unconscious mind. Lot, you know, we can plant seeds of thoughts in people's minds all the time. Mm -hmm. And so really I, I, I divulge how that some of that stuff is done. Um, obviously not everything. I can't teach everything, uh, you know, that I've learned in a lifetime in, in one book. Uh, mm -hmm. And really how do you use these in a practical way? When you're next at a job interview, how do you negotiate a better salary? Or a promotion, or how Amazing. do you buy, if you're buying a house, how do you get the best deal, and all of that kind of stuff uh, is in my book. And then also in the seminar that I have running uh, at the end of this month in Cape Town and Joburg, uh, which is based on the book, two and a half hour seminar teaching all of these things. Amazing. I want to know how you did that. I know, I really right? Want to know how you did that because you know what? Funny enough, I mean, seriously, like I said, I mean, we had no, you know, formal, formal, formal conversation before this, um, mm. and I literally did not pick eighty-two. I, I, I literally picked two separate numbers, two separate digits. Like I was like, yeah, I was going with eight and a two, could have been twenty-eight, <laughs> but then I thought, nah, let's go eighty-two. I mean, so so this is great. So 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 basically, with what you are teaching, um, you can get the most out of life, basically. But it instills a certain level of confidence, I think, in a person as well. Absolutely. You know, when, whenever you learn these skills. Uh, it instills some confidence. You'll be able to go into any situation and know uh, the right things to say, the mm. right approach. But also, it helps you to not be exploited by so many people and so many companies and campaigns that are trying to influence you. Right. You know, we, there's so many things every single day that are, uh, people, companies, they're trying to get you to buy their products or do what they want to do. And, and so these techniques, once you understand what makes influence and persuasion tick in the mind, uh, then you'll be able to not only use it Yourself. Yeah. And by the way, I, 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 you know, a lot of people say, what about manip you know, manipulation? Yeah. Am I teaching people to manipulate? So as I'm saying all of these things, it is important that I, I, I do promote ethics. Mm -hmm. And you know, things like manipulation and persuasion and influence, 
uh, they're actually neutral terms. You know, it's like yeah. a surgeon's knife. It can be used for great good or for great evil, depending on the right. on the person who's using it. Well, dude, very, very interesting. I can't wait to find a little bit more, a little bit later on this morning. Stick around with us. SA's very own mentalist, Gilan Gork, teaching us the power of influence this morning. Exactly. Do, 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 like you said <laughs> earlier. But if you want to find out more about those seminars, dates, you can actually just go to his website, gilangork.com. That's the one. Yep. Ilango or persuasiongames.coza. Persuasion Easy as that. Right. Some technology on your feel good breakfast show this morning. We have a real life crime fighting drone in studio. We're going to show you exactly how.